right, so John's going to demonstrate how to use his survival kit. And the basic idea of this is he has the string wrapped around the bottle here. And he's going to fling the side with the hook and the bobber and everything round and round in circles. And he's going to aim the bottle in the direction that he wants the line to go and let go of the bobber that he's swinging around and around in the direction of the water. So let's watch how he does it. That's probably good, what do you think? 15 yards? Probably. 15, 20 yards, something like that? Yeah. So to reel it in, he's just round and round and round like this until it's back in. If you get a fish on the end of your line, you're going to feel quite a bit of tension depending on how big the fish is. And if you're depending on your hand, while you're reeling it in you may put a lot of pressure and pain on your hand with the line but if you use the bottle as more support when you're wrapping around you're going to save your hands a lot of hurt when you're reeling in the fish much further that time that's got to be 20 25 yards good lesson to learn here he's got it in the branch here let's see how he gets it out so he's just back got the line back in here you'll see the bobber go up into the air just a second doesn't seem to be caught too awful bad there we go just a nice yank he had it out of the tree the key is yanking it whenever you're closer to it rather than further away so there's more weight on the bottom of the line to pull it out of the tree so as you can see I've got my line wrapped around as well I'm going to do the same thing John did I'm gonna point this in the direction that I want the line to go and I'm gonna swing the bobber in circles and release when it's out that way no The hook's in there, that's what it is. Huh? I think the hook is stuck. It's like the bobber's right, or the sinker's right around too. Ow. Hey, we can save it. So that's precisely the reason that you want to carry extra sinkers and extra hooks inside of your box. Because things like that are going to happen. Let's try this again. So we're going to point in the direction we want it to go. Swing it around. And not quite like that. Better than last time. Go. And I used all of my string that time. So that's the maximum my kit will go. And it appears that John's went further. Now the, the more round that your kit is that you're carrying, the faster you're going to reel it in. We found that one practicing with some of the smaller ones that John had made, that it took much longer to reel in with a, a, a smaller kit wrap it around.